What's the word, YouTube man? It's your boy JSO Shifty. Back with another video. Around almost two weeks ago, I had dropped a video on my Derrick Rose build, which is this right here that you see the slasher. In the video, I had dropped a little gameplay, little preview on how to uh, build, little, you know, what you could do on the build, all of that. I'm not gonna drop any gameplay in this video. I'm just gonna show you your badges, the attributes, and exactly how to make this build. Before we get off into that, man, make sure that y'all like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. You can go check out that video if you want to see what it's looking like. But I'm finna just go ahead and show y'all the attributes, what it looked like, so that you can get you a good idea. Now, as you can see, we got 95 driving layup, 86 driving dunk. This is my stats at 99. We got an 81 three-pointer. Uh, at first, you know the pass just changed the ball control to where you need 80 to uh, get the new pro dribble moves and all of that. But at first, I had made this base so I could get... 86 ball handling and keep it a lot so i mean you could adjust it if you want to uh we got decent defensive stats you see my speed is 96 acceleration 96 so he's definitely quick and remember this is at 99 overall so you can expect those stats to be uh four points lower on every category but 99 is definitely looking nice 82 passing accuracy we got a decent jump shot definitely good at slash and 93 close shot uh getting in pockets 86 still good lateral quickness Good perimeter defense. You know, we definitely looking decent. Vertical not as high as I would have wanted it to be. But, I mean, we needed the speed with this build. Especially since we don't have a playmaking in our uh, build at all. As for the uh, badges, we got Hall of Fame finishing badges. 16 of those. 17 shooting badges. All gold badges or silver. You can't get Hall of Fame. 15 playmaking. Could get gold only. And we got six defensive badges. Now we finna go ahead and get off into this build. The only thing I say is the downfall is the uh, playmaking badges. But look at what I'm doing. You want to make sure that you make him a shooting guard. All right, before we get into the playmaking badges. Pick the third pie chart, the new one, where it's mainly blue, but it's still green, too. Like, you know what I mean? Speed and agility for the physical uh, pie chart. Now, just pay attention to where I'm putting these points. But what I was going to say with the playmaking. The playmaking, bro, the only thing that I said was whack was, like, it was a last-minute decision when the game first came out. I made him a shooting guard. It didn't even uh, test out the build or nothing like, you know, the Meyer player build to test it out. I didn't test it out, and I didn't realize that I didn't get Dimer or Floor General with this build. So that, that was annoying. I ain't messed with that at all. That had threw off everything. I wouldn't even took 15 playmaking badges if I knew that I wasn't getting that. So that was just my fault. Making a mistake. So you could, if you really want those, you'll have to make this build at a point guard. Shooting guard can't get it. I'm pretty sure the point guard can have not looked, but I just stuck with it. And, you know, I just had to ride it out because it was too late once I had noticed that. But so, see, put these points exactly where I put them. This is how you got to get the max out badges as much as possible to each category. You know what I'm saying? Got 16 finishing, 17 shooting, 15 playmaking, 6 defense. These is the beginning stats before we change any wingspan, any weight. It's looking decent so far, but the next part is what's going to make this build actually good and get you to where you need to be. That's where people mess up. Going with the built body type, instantly drop him down to 6'3". You know, this is a Derrick Rose build. Got to be 6'3". You know what I'm saying? Got to be in that area. Drop the weight all the way down because we want to get as much speed as possible on this build. And with the wingspan, you want to put it to 82.2 because as you can see, that's what's going to have you get your driving dunk to 82 and not taking that much of a hit on a three-pointer and not taking that much of a hit on a ball control. Now, for the takeover, I personally chose shot creating just because I wanted to be able to uh, hit leaners more. You know, I ain't want to be just one-dimensional with the slasher. But, of course, Derrick Rose is much more of a slasher than a shot creator. So, that's completely up to you. I'll probably take the slasher if I made them all over again. But I'll take the shot creator. Say it's shades of Donovan Mitchell, Bradley Bill, and Mitch Richmond, but they forgetting about Derrick Rose. The only reason why I don't say Derrick Rose is because this is a shooting guard. Now, this is exactly how you make the build. Uh, you go ahead and test it out. The, the build definitely go crazy. Like I said, you can look at the last video, see a little preview of the gameplay. I ain't dropped too much gameplay, but it's definitely OP. Go crazy for ice on. Anything, any game style, really. You, you just going to be an all-around bucket, bro. So, let me know if this video helped you out let me know if you think about making this uh build down in the comments below and yeah man that's a wrap for this video make sure that y'all like share and subscribe